computer. Oh. All right, you guys watching? All right, look. So if you haven't done so already and downloaded all your songs, right? You're supposed to go to Schoology. I posted um, a link. I'm going to update this one because I think we found one in the morning that worked better. I can't remember if I updated it because the first one I put, you could only download four songs from YouTube. It's got to be YouTube. Do not do SoundCloud. Don't go to, um, what's the other one? The one you pay for, Spotify. Don't do that. Just go to YouTube, find your songs, convert each one of them to MP3. All right? It's pretty straightforward. You, you guys should be able to do that. Once you have your songs, everybody looking here? Notice, they all say MP3 at the end, yes? These are the four songs I have here that I downloaded. You should have a minimum of five. Oh, here's this one, Hurricanes. All right? You should have a minimum of five on your CD. Everybody listening? Once you have them, make sure you select them, just like if they're files, and you double-click on them to play them, and Apple Music should turn on, right? Here's a Red Hot Chili Peppers, right? There it is. It's playing. You have to add them to Apple Music, right? It's an app on everybody's computer here, right? Once you do that, that's good. That's done. You don't have to play all of them. Just notice that they're here. Yes? Everybody looking? This is Apple Music. All right? The next thing you're going to do is you're going to go up to File. New Playlist. Everybody see? Command N, just like in Illustrator. What is going to be the name of this CD that you're doing? Right? Whatever the title is. Right? Now, be aware. If you put this in a CD player, like in a some of the last cars to have CD players like 2013. And if it starts having a little bit of an infotainment or a car that has one of those uh, little players that plays DVDs too, that's cool because you're going to be able to read what it says there on the, on the dash of the, of the CD player, right? On a car, on, on a home player, it's a little bit different. Okay. So I'm going to put on here the name of this playlist. I'm going to call it, uh, PM Juniors, my favorite class. Nobody, nobody said anything. No, everybody's good with that. Should I put ever? Exclamation point. Little sad face. No, or happy face. Oh no, I got it even better. One of these. How's that? Is that good? All right, more. Okay. Everybody there? Look at that. Yes. Check it out. How's that? No? Everybody like that one? My niños. Okay. Now, here's the cool part. If you're working on your CD, everybody looking? And remember how I said, if you play this on one of these CD or DVD players that has like a screen, like my mom's truck, somebody installed one of those DVD players that... You could put a little DVD player up on the ceiling and for the little kids when they were annoying you and you would play a movie for them so they'd fall asleep. Yes? Was that some of you guys? All right. So check it out. It has that. And in the front on the dash, it'll show you a picture. So everybody looking? If you take a screenshot, I would take a screenshot. Everybody watching? Shift-Command-4 is to be able to select the, the picture. You heard it take a picture, right? It's on my desktop, yes? the screenshot, you go back to Apple and you click on this big gray square and you go to other and you look on your desktop and you choose a picture. You could get this. This one you could probably do off the internet, but I would do it having to do with my CD. Open and you can size it. It's almost like, like putting a, a little uh, avatar on something, right? And you say done. This is the actual image or artwork that'll show up on a dvd or cd player that shows you a picture it'll actually show this okay you could actually add a description this is the cd i put together
with my most favoritist PM junior class ever. I like that. Yes? No? Anyone? Cool. Okay. So that's actually going to be burned. This information is going to be burned on the CD, right? Like digitally. Okay. So having said that, so I created a new playlist. Yes, everybody there? Okay. Here's what you do. You go to where you have your songs. Notice I have a bunch of songs. These are all freebies I got from Apple. I can't actually burn them. They're, they're right protected. All right. But you saw all the ones that I had just played, right? Anybody like this one? Anybody? Yeah, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that annoying enough for you? Anyway. All right. So everybody looking? Watch here. Everybody look. Right here on the little lines. It says, you click on the three little lines for each song. And it says, add to playlist. Guess which playlist? The one I just made. PM Junior's class. Boom. You go to the next one that's going to go on this CD. Add to playlist. You go to the next one. Add to playlist. You go to the next one. Add to playlist. Everybody see that? Yes? Pretty straightforward. Then when you go to your playlist, there are the songs. Everybody see them? All right. Now, look at your CD. Some of you guys are still fighting me. I'm putting a track list or playlist on your CD. This was the whole point, right? If they're not in the order, everybody see them? You look at your CD and your order of music, and you just move them into the order. Just like if you're moving layers in Illustrator. Put them in the order, right? You see how I put them in the order? Yes? Just like moving layers in Illustrator. Put them in the order. Everybody good there? Next step, you're going to borrow the CD burner. I have it here. I can't show it to you right now. Connect it to the back of your iMac that you have here in class. You come get a blank CD. You put the blank CD in. It's going to give you a message. It's going to pop up right now. There it is. You inserted a blank CD. Yes. Say OK. That's it. Just click OK. As soon as you do that, if you look at your finder window, you'll see there's a blank CD. It says untitled CD. Don't try to change it or anything. That's what Apple uh, does, right? That's what the Apple Music does. As soon as you're ready, you click right here. All your, all your music looks good. Burn playlist to disk. Everybody see it? Now, here's where you get to choose right preferred speed maximum possible audio cd you can choose the the pause in between each song you can make it three seconds two seconds five seconds i like three seconds i don't click use sound check you can click include cd text if you want that stuff to read do not do not click these two down here because if you do then you're not you're not making an audio cd you're you're leaving them as mp3s why would you want to leave them as mp3 if they're already mp3 correct yes and then you're going to hit burn and remember don't touch the actual cd burner it gets hot is that true or not or i'm lying huh yeah it's not really going to get hot we just say burn because it's using a laser you can actually feel it like kind of humming spinning it's actually burning it right now all right it's telling you right here at the bottom, where we see it right here, burning CD. Just let it do its thing. When it's done, you'll hear it make a little sound, and the CD will then pop up on your desktop with the title of your CD and all the information, and you will have made a CD. Pretty straightforward, yeah? Again, I would do the option of putting the, the screenshot on the picture there, because it's kind of cool. If you give it to someone who actually has one of those CD or DVD players where they can see, it would be kind of cool. They can see that you did that extra effort to put that on there. Cool? Everybody good? And it tells you right here, 12 minutes of music, four songs. And uh, we'll wait a few seconds. This should not take very long to burn four. 
And notice all my songs in MP3 format are around three, three to four minutes. They're about anywhere from three to six megabytes each. All right. And this will be an actual CD. All right. I have the blank CDs. I have the burner. Come and ask me for it. Only if you're done with everything else, right? If you're not ready with everything else, if you haven't downloaded all your music, we still got today and Wednesday to do that. All right. Has anybody looked at the calendar for Friday? Anyone? You're not going to believe what they scheduled for Friday for us. No. No. CCRO or the auditorium. I'm not even lying. Why they would do that, I don't know. It just doesn't seem logical, right, to do that right before the end of the nine weeks if some of you guys need to turn stuff in and use class time. It, it doesn't make sense to me. Like, they could have done it any other time. But just I'm giving you a heads up. That's what's coming Friday. It's not going to be the whole class period, but don't count on Friday is what I'm saying, right? Okay, so there it is. It finished burning. Notice, there it is. It actually burned it. If you look on the desktop, there it is. It has the title. You're not going to see the picture here, right? It's only on those CD players that, or DVD players that will show a little image on a screen. But there it is. You right click and you eject it or you drag it out. And now I have an audio CD ready to listen to. Cool. Everybody got that? All right. Let me stop this video. I need everybody to get to 